I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of 60 Seconds Reanimized. You guys see that truck right there? It has some bad, bad wheels on it. Well, we're gonna try to get out of here in this episode, but I need one more piece, I think. I think I need one more piece. We're gonna make sure we get at least one piece this episode. If they don't give it to me, I don't care. I'm gonna take it because that's my piece. If you guys cool thing, you're down with that. Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go. Man, I was getting a little aggressive in that intro, huh? I was like, give me that, that's my piece. But we're gonna go fat man because that's what I am right now. I'm a fat, fat man. Actually, I'm a bad, bad man because I am definitely not stopping until we get at least one part in this episode for that truck. That ice cream truck. Is that what it's called? Ice cream truck or ice cream car or ice cream van? I have no idea, but if you see somebody driving a van like that and saying, do you want some candy? You better run. You better run. That's advice from your old pal Jay. I'm gonna throw Timmy in there, my good old ginger haired son. And a little advice for people playing this game. Choose Ted when you scavenge. Because Ted is worth three parts, and Dolores is only worth two parts, so you might as well get Ted because you can grab Dolores and then you can grab two other items or like something that requires two parts. So you know what I mean? Does that make sense? I think it makes sense. Because if you play as Dolores and then grab Ted, you took up three slots and only have room for one more. But if you play as Ted and then you grab Dolores, you have room for two more items because you have two available hands. What am I even talking about? I have no idea. I could be talking out of my ass for all I care, but you know what? Just because I'm talking out of my ass, doesn't mean I'm saying random shit. All it means is that I actually don't have enough time to get this psych. Yes, I do. Okay, get in there, get in there, get in there, bitch. Get in there. Yes! Kobe. Okay. So we got one more part, I believe, for the ice cream truck. Let the hunt for that begin. Man, ladies and gentlemen, I am on one today. My levels of just hypeness are like right here. You know, usually they're right here. Actually, you know what? They're right here, but now they're right here. They're right here. Like, I am jacked on something. I'm jacked on crack. And we got a deck of cards. That's pretty good. Nobody's getting soup and water. And random notes that you think I'm gonna read, but I'm never gonna read it. Ever. In the history of anything. I know in the first Reanimized episode, I was like, eh, I'll read the notes. That's because I was being a little pussy, you know? I was being a little baby bag bitch. But now, I'm not reading anything. Except this. Mary Jane has been awful silent today. This is very unlike her. Should we try talking to her? I guess. I mean, she could just be in her own thoughts. Like, sometimes you just gotta leave somebody alone. Like, just because they're quiet doesn't mean they want to be talked to. Like, sometimes I have a serious face going on, and if somebody wants to talk to me, I'm like, Row! Oh, man, I'm in a good mood today, guys. Like, I'm in a great mood. You guys caught me at the perfect time. Everything is shaking. Cans are jumping all over the place. If this had happened after we drank that delicious wine for supper a few weeks back, it would seem perfectly normal. It's either another nuke or a quake. Either way, we need to grab something before everything gets smashed to pieces. The only thing I have is the radio. Thank goodness, I guess. I mean, I'd rather have the gas mask or the flashlight. Maybe I need that for the ice cream truck scenario. If I do, I'm gonna be very angry. I might punch something in the face. And speaking of punching something in the face, Mary Jane is back. And she brought back, uh, more water, I think. Two water and her hairy ass. Really? Two water and that's it? You know what? You're gonna starve for one more day. Just one more. Prepare to scavenge. And we had thought phone calls were a thing in the past. I'm not gonna answer the phone, but I am gonna look at this stuff. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Me gust. Me gust. You know, it's not even me gusta. It's me gust because I love it so much I can't even finish what I'm saying. All right, but it's day 10. Time to give them the good stuff. And then we are going to send out MVP Timmy because he's going to do what his sister couldn't do, which was actually help out the family. Day 13. Ted and Mary Jane have been butting heads lately. Today, they got into an argument about movie characters, specifically who would win in an ultimate battle, Snow White, Seven Dwarves, or a group of Wasteland Bandits. It's a tricky one for sure, and the debate is heated. Who will come out on top? Ted, of course, because last time I believe I chose Mary Jane, and I think that I got like a can of soup. Oh no, I got ammo. I got ammo. So let's see what happens when I choose Ted. Bruh. We lost the gun. <laughs> Thanks, Ted, you're an asshole. Ted covered his ears and loudly saying to himself, drowning out Mary Jane's excellent arguments. She escalated the situation by tossing some objects around, whether for emphasis or in an attempt to visually recreate the battle. No agreement was reached and some supplies have suffered. I've suffered. I've suffered way too long for this horse shit, Ted. I can't believe you did that to me. And we don't even have the Boy Scout book, so no point in reading that. But it's day 15. Is Timmy gonna come back? No, Timmy is not back yet. Somebody is knocking on our door. We're obviously gonna answer it because we're nice people. But before we do that, we're gonna give them that. 
and there was nothing more surprising than a knock on a fallout shelter door. Who could it be? Should we investigate and risk our very lives? That sounds like a good idea. Shall we open the door? Okay, so people who have been watching this series for a long time, normally I don't open the door because I always tell you guys, no, it's always bad. Like, the risk is not worth the reward, but I'm going to switch it up. Let's see what happens. They got water. Someone started shooting at us. We closed the hatch as quickly as we could, but a shot or two grazed us. See? That's why I never answer the door in real life and in video game form because I'm not trying to get shot at. And a stranger pushing a rusty wheelbarrow filled with all kinds of goods stopped by today. He claimed he's a trader looking to barter for items he requires. He offers one water for the cards, one water in exchange for the poison, offers two waters in exchange for the book, and offers one water in exchange for the flashlight. Are you serious? Offers two water in exchange for the Boy Scout book. Boy, I swear to... Oh, man, somebody wants to get slapped. Somebody wants to get slapped, and Timmy is back. I can't believe two waters for the Boy Scout book. That's at least five minimum. But Timmy brought back two waters, a flashlight, and that's it. You know what? I still love you, Timmy. You know? You brought back shit, but it's my shit. You brought back brown shit, but it's my brown stinky shit. We played a game of list the things you hate the most, and our neighbor's name kept popping up for some reason. That reminded us that the little weasel had a safe in his living room. We always wondered what's inside. Maybe now's the time to finally find out, but who will do the honors of stealing the possessions of our arch nemesis? Okay, so I did this scenario before, and I wasn't really familiar with the situation, but the moment that I went there, they came back and they were sick. So maybe I should get Mary Jane sick and then try to turn her into a mutant? You guys think I should do that? I think I should do that. I know it's a little bit evil trying to get a young girl sick, but you know what? We gotta do what we gotta do, and she is sick. See? I know my scenarios now, but we got the Boy Scout book. You know what? I'll take Sick Mary Jane because we got the Sick Boy Scout book. I'll take that 10 times out of 10. No. Oh my god, Ted. Yikes. If Dolores doesn't come back, I'm gonna get a game over. No. Well, how did Ted die? Ted died from being a baby back bitch? Oh, okay. All right. Give the kids water and food. And there's a phone call. You know what, Timmy? You might as well answer it. You're the only one who's not sick. So you're just gonna answer it. If Dolores doesn't come back, guys... I'm actually going to be very upset because I think we're going to get an item in this scenario for the truck. I really feel that way. Oh, yes! This is insane! We keep finding spiders everywhere. They're in our soup. They're in our water. We swear some of them keep coming back and they are bigger every time we see them. Yes! Mutant Mary Jane, come to me. Come to me. If she's not here, I don't know what I'm going to do. Mary Jane... Ah! Why? Why? Oh, we got soup, though. You know what? I'll take it. No, I wouldn't take it. I'd rather have mutant Mary Jane than soup. Damn it! All right, so the only one who's able to go outside is Mary Jane, who's not a mutant. You know, I'm only a little butthurt about that, but I'm still butthurt. Like, even just being a little butthurt, I'm still butthurt. I'm mad that she's not a mutant, but you know what? Maybe she'll come back a mutant. That's not likely gonna happen, but what the heck is this? It wasn't a hallucination. There really was an ice cream truck down the street. The vehicle was armored with wooden spikes, decorated with American flags and banners, and fitted with a real cannon. It even had a caterpillar track. All this magnificent beast would need is a driver and some fuel. And I don't have it? No! What do I need? I need five? How many do I have? Three! No! Oh, please come back. Please come back with this scenario. I promise you, I will do anything for soup cans. I will do anything, guys. I will get on my hands and knees. Okay, maybe not my knees. But I would do something, you know? Oh, I would do anything for some cans. Just so I can fill up that truck. Damn! Okay, I think I'm gonna get that scenario back. If I don't, I'm gonna be very sad. I'm gonna be very freaking sad. On our way back from our last expedition, we noticed some drawings on a half-ruined wall nearby. It was a very crude map of our town, and one place was marked with an X. Maybe it's someone's secret stash of soup? Shall we go and check? Okay, Timmy, go check with that big-ass afro. I know you can't see because your afro's so damn big, but hopefully you brought back some soup. Come on. Give it to Poppy. Give it to Poppy Chulo. We still got three cans of soup. You brought back a gas mask, though. I'll give a little clap for that. I'll give a little clappy. The end? No, no, don't, don't, don't. Oh my god, Dolores, what happened with you, you humpback whale? Dolores suffered with her injuries for far too long. Guys, did she even look injured? She just looked tired. No, you can't be doing this to me. You can't be doing this to me. Oh my god. We got that scenario with the soup cans. You can't be doing this. All right, you know what? 
we're gonna make sure we have an abundance of soup this playthrough and we're gonna make sure we get that scenario again and we are gonna get out of here with that new ending let's go okay guys we're back it is day 29 on the second playthrough and it said it wasn't a hallucination there really was an ice cream truck down the street. The vehicle was armored with wooden spikes, decorated with American flags, and banners fitted with a real cannon. It even had a caterpillar track. All this magnificent beast would need is a driver and some fuel. Well, look at this, guys. Oh how much fuel I have. 13 cans. God damn. Damn, that's a lot of cans. You guys know what I've been doing? And we got a stay frosty achievement? The end? What? Wait, why did Ted die? Our dreams have finally come true. No more waiting for rescue. No more rotting in this tiny bunker. We're out of here. So long, suckers. Whoever finds this shelter can keep it. We are embarking on the post-apocalyptic journey of our lives. We don't know where we'll end up. Anywhere would be fine as long as it's far away from this hellhole. All we needed was five cans and a bunch of playthroughs to get all the parts we needed from that. But damn, we finally got the ending. And Ted died. He couldn't even see the completed truck. But we got the truck ending. You survive. And there's a nice new tune. All right, guys. I think that took at least 10 playthroughs for me, like personally, because it was random to get that ending. But we finally got the completed ice cream truck ending. I think you guys have been telling me that there's also a tank ending. Like you guys were telling me that you can get a tank and then you can get an ending that way too. I think it's pretty much the same thing. But you're either going to get an ice cream truck or a tank. I happen to get the ice cream truck. So I think if you guys want me to get the tank ending, it's going to be the same exact process as this. But yeah, I actually thought that the ending for that would be a little bit better. I'm kind of disappointed in that. But you know what? It is what it is. We got away in the truck. And I guess we're going to start a new journey somewhere else. I wish that it would start off and you're in a new place. That would be pretty damn cool. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this whole playthrough of 60 Seconds Reanimized, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!